everyone, Linda here. I have some tickets to share with you. I'm going to swap over at Your Paper Pantry for, the for their first ticket swap. And I'm also in the Wine Lovers swap and we were to make keychains out of corks. So I'll show you both of those. First I want to show you the ticket swap. Now we were to make three strips of tickets and these are my three strips. Oh, they're so much fun to make. So this one is a Raisin Boat stamp set. I think this is from Recalculating and then this is a tree set. So I have little cars and I don't know if you can see but I embossed the go and I embossed the wheels. And then the other side um, is from a set that I had for a long time that I didn't even know I had. Um, this is a set called Just the Ticket and it's from Close to My Heart. And I really had fun with the stamp set this weekend. So on the back it says, Good for One Sentimental Journey. And I thought that was perfect for these little cars. And then I just took a little um, ink pen and made dots across the bottom like, you know, a road. So that's one. Then this other one is from a stamp set. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't even know which one it's from. Here it is. Oh, boy. Here's the stamp set. And I lost the card to it. It's around here somewhere. But I used this little telephone. And then I used a hello. I used this hello right here. I just inked up just that part. And I stamped the little hello on these itty bitty tags from stamping up the punch and then I put a little black um, you know like rhinestone or bead on the inside and I inked around the edges with um, Tim Holtz's brush corduroy then on the back it says ticket for two and I thought that was kind of cute because on these telephones you had to have two people sometimes you had two lines my grandmother had a phone like this and she had two lines so when you picked up you could hear other people then this one is from a raisin boat set let me show you I used this set for this and this and this I used different ones and this one's called painted piece and I also used, on the back of it, I did, peace friend, <laughs> it really reminded me of the 70s, so I thought it was really cute. And then I also used the little um, dove from this one, and this is peace and a smile, and I used this little flower, but you can hardly see that anymore because I spritzed it with um, Lindy's Stamp Gang. Um, gold cactus I think it was so I don't know you can see how glittery it is but then I also took glassy accents and put it inside the peace symbol so that's kind of a 60s thing and this one I think I used um, in each photo for the distress then so we did three strips and then we're supposed to do three more three different ones and what we're supposed to do is take three like this and put them in a bag and have five bags so these will be my five bags of three different images so this one I really like I think this is really cute it says E not fat and I did the little sheep and I got colored his face with Copic markers and I use I use liquid applique to make them all fluffy and then on the back of this one it says, <laughs> in the front it says, E not fat, E fluffy. And um, I used this, this blank stamp, you know, it's a solid stamp just to get that color background. So that worked really nice because when I colored the face it kind of bled through and that just kind of made it all work together. I also put my initials on all of them because um, even these have my initials on them. Because the last swap I was in with tickets, I got a bunch of tickets and I don't know who they're by. So I really highly suggest putting your initials on your tickets when you make them. So this is one of them. Then this is the next one. And this is a stamp set by Dear Lizzie. But it was really hard to get the image. And then when I really looked at the image the stamp on the back there were like bubbles and stuff in it so 
just wasn't a really good stamp set but I really love the image it's so cute and then this is the smile from there and what I did is after I stamped it I went over each letter with a white Sequoia gel pen and then when that dried I uh, glass glossy accented those little tiles and the lens and the viewfinder there on the camera then on the other side I used from that same set smiles and admit it so I thought that worked out really cute so that's the second one and then the third one is from a stamping up set um, called puns from the past so this says rubber baby buggy bumper that's from this set I really like this set and this is fun because these are all small and I can use them on these tickets so anyway so this one is the little buggy and then I don't know if you can see it but I used some vintage snaps for the wheels and then I glossy accent the buggy and then I added a little bit of um, lace at the bottom and then on the back of this one it says sweet dreams required isn't that perfect i thought that was so perfect for that so those are my tickets and so these three will go in a little baggie like this and then i'll have five little baggies and that is the way we're supposed to do the swap so then someone will get um one of my bags and they'll get three different strips so if you enter the challenge and you have until the 5th of July to sign up for the challenge, you will get a bag with three loose tickets and three full strips. I think that's what you're supposed to do. All right. Then the other challenge I was in was to make a keychain from a cork. And so here's my keychain, and the cork I used, you can see I highlighted Wisconsin. Down the street from me, well, kind of down the street, on the other side of town, we have a winery called Woolershein, and they have wonderful wine. Their fav my favorite is their Prairie Fumé. Anyway, so this is a picture of the building, and this is their .com and it says Wisconsin so I went and I colored all the little buildings with my Copic markers then I used a Tim Holtz um, gear and the Tim Holtz pin to put in there and just a key ring then on this end I used some washers just regular hardware store washers this is three different sizes of washers and then I just took a piece of wire and bent it you know in half and hooked it into my chain and shoved it in there but all the things I shoved into the cork I put some glue on it first before I shoved it in and first I just had this chain that I put this little wine bottle charm and this little um, corkscrew charm in and um, but that I didn't think that was enough so then I added a little some little beads so this is some little beads so that is the way my key ring looks and then I just took it and tied it to a piece of this graphic 45 paper that Friday sent me thank you Friday I love them and then I'm just gonna take that and oh I put my well this one I put my information on you couldn't see it so I had to put it on there again with a little piece of um, white cardstock behind it. So I'm just going to take this and stick it in this bag and the person that's monitoring the monitor of this challenge is Stephanie from Little Red Wagon and if you haven't watched any of Stephanie's videos you should because she's so enjoyable to watch. Okay so so is Friday. <laughs> There's some of my favorite. Okay so it's going to be in a little bag like this. Well, now you can't see your face. Hold on. Move it over there like that. The other bags that I did. And you only had to do three for this. So this this was actually... Oh, this is a July challenge too. So I'm really ahead of myself on my challenges because they're still both, they're still both open. Then um, for Stephanie at Little Red Wagon, I'm going to send her a little something for 
extra, but I made her this card and I just wanted to share it with you because I got some new die cuts from Joann's when they were on sale. Natasha said on her video that um, Joann's was having 50% off on her die, so I thought, oh my god, I gotta get over there. Well, this is a card that I made for Stephanie at Little Red Wagon, and um, it's made with one of the dies I got from Joann's. And this one, actually, I didn't get in the May I. I went to Joann's last week and got this one. I think I'm really gonna love this one because this made this card so easy. And see this beautiful flower? This flower was one that I got in a rack from Lynn, the girl that passed away, well actually was murdered by her husband. It was so sad. So I'm using that flower on there and then some leaves and some little roses. Then I sprayed it all with Lindy's, um, I think it's some gold. I can't remember which one it is. And then the image on the inside is a raisin boat image called, I think it's called Treat Yourself? No, Guilty Pleasures. And so the way I did the inside, this one I actually cut the piece out, inked it out, then put it back in the white part. And so, it, you know, this says Treat Yourself. And um, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite martinis are chocolate martinis. And I also like chocolate wine, so I, that's why it's brown. And I just used a brown Copic marker, and then I used a white Sequoia pen um, to do the white in there. And this is just Tim Holtz, uh, probably festive. Va no, it's fired brick that I used on there. And this is Raisin Boats cardstock, two different colors of cardstock. So that's my card that's going with the chain cork keychains. All right, so I want to show you some other die cuts that I got. These I got from up north, and I thought this was really, really pretty. This is Memory Box, and it cuts beautiful. I haven't used this one yet, but I really wanted some leaves. Again, this is the same. Oh, that's not Memory Box. These are, yeah, Memory Box, I'm right. Um, these are just little leaves, and I really like that. And then I needed a cloud die cut. And I like the way they come. They come in the cellophane bag, but this is actually a paper envelope. So I really like that. Then I got this Quick Cuts uh, floral die because I really wanted a doily die. So I got that one. I got those when I was up north. Then these are the ones I got at um, Joann's through the 50% off. Uh, I, I wanted this banner ribbon for quite a while. I've seen this used so many times and I thought it was so pretty. It's in a nice square with very pretty edge on it. And then some more leaves because I always feel like I need some leaves. And then one more. The, I have the oval one like this so I wanted the square one like that. And then this is the rectangle one that I used on the card. I really can see me using this one a lot. Alright, so there's my little haul and my Your Paper Pantry swap and I think you should all head over there. This ticket swap is going to be a lot of fun. The next one, the next project I need to work on are my envelope art and I really like that. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.